Okay, g'day all. Welcome to another DirectX shoot. Um, we'll still be <laughs> messing around with Windows for a while yet. Uh, this is complicated business, but what we want to do today, hopefully anyway, uh, depending on how competent I am at typing, uh, we want to actually show a window. So we can't do any DirectX until we've got a window to sort of draw things onto. And yeah, it's it's a tutorial in itself. It's probably two or three actually, but we'll see if we can jam it all into one. Um, just explaining how to show a window. So let's have a bit of a look at that. And I was making slides of of this, and it was you know it was fantastic, and it had amazing CGI graphics and kind of dinosaurs, and it was really really cool. But I decided what would be better. <laughs> I didn't really. I decided what would be better is to show uh, actually how I. Uh, make a window myself. So I've done this many, many times, but I still can't for the life of me remember how to do it. And uh, thankfully, you don't have to remember how to do it. Like, that's why uh, MSDN exists. Um, we don't have to remember how to do it, Microsoft does. And uh, they got to tell us. So go over to MSDN and um, yeah, grab some of these uh, important things that we'll be calling today. Uh, and this will help us. Uh, this will help us a lot. Okay, so invaluable reference really is all I'm trying to say. Keep MSDN at your side at all times when you're programming Windows. All right, the first thing that we got to do before we can do anything with our um, uh, Windows showing uh, thing that we're going <laughs> to tackle, uh, the first thing that we've got to do is define a window proc. So if I just copy this from MSDN, uh, this is just the uh, window proc callback function page of MSDN. Uh, just copy and paste that, get rid of the ins. Uh, into your project that we worked on last week. I did actually remove the, um, I think we had a, a console entry. Uh, yeah, I removed that from my app. Uh, but this is the, um, this is the function that we're going to use to process the events that occur with our window. So the parameters are pretty easy. We've just got to hwind. There's going to be a handle to our window, which we're just about to set up. Uh, UMSG is the uh, event message that uh, is occurring and then we got a couple of parameters that can come with those event messages and the only thing that we want to uh, respond to at the moment I think is um, what is it called WM destroy yeah UMSG uh, if UMSG equals WM uh, destroy which is going to happen when the user clicks on the uh, little red X in the corner of our window uh, we want to post the quit message uh, with a return code of zero and return zero and Bob's your uncle and if that doesn't happen uh, if it's some other message that we don't really know what to do with uh, we want to pass it on uh, we want to use the uh, whatever the default window behavior is and uh, you can do that by calling the uh, def window proc yeah or in other words just um, tell windows to deal with the um, event however it wants I uh, might just paste those parameters. So we just passed all of the parameters on, so you won't need the parameter type names. Uh, but the rest of it is the same. Okay, so that's our window proc. Uh, it doesn't do very much, just uh, closes itself down or, or passes the message on. Good stuff. Okay, so moving along. We want to show a window, and uh, the first thing that we've got to do is register a class for our window. And uh, we do that with the... Uh, register class X function. Yeah, so that's what we got to call. Uh, but that actually takes a pointer to a WND class X structure. So we better make one of those. Um, I might just call it my window class. Just like that. And the first thing that, that you do with um, the window class is uh, you zero the uh, you zero the memory, so we're going to have to set up a bunch of different things in this Windows class, but, but only the things that we care about. And uh, the rest we just want to default to zero, so we'll pass in our window class for that. And then for the number of bytes, we'll just take the size of WND class. Size... Oh. Yeah, just like that. So that's going to zero the uh, window class for us. Now if we come over here to uh, this page, WND class X structure. Uh, we get a really good description of what all of these things are. So here's the structure that we're going to set up. Um, yeah, let's just get started. We only want to set up the things that we actually care about, and a lot of it can just stay its default, like this uh, CB CLS extra. Um, we don't care about uh, CB size. We do. Uh, we want size of window 
WND class X, uh, window class, and what's the next one? Uh, HBR background. Uh, we might care about that. That's going to be the background color of our window. Uh, let me just scroll down and find where those backgrounds are. There we go. Um, so you've got a few options. I might just choose um, window. Yeah, that should do the trick. It's not liking it, so we better cast that to an H brush. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's our background. What else are we going to need? Window class. Um, cursor we don't care about. Icon. Maybe we care about the icon. Um, no, we don't care about the icon. Um, I don't care about the small icon. H instance. Okay, so this is the uh, H instance of our app. So we set that one up. Um, what else have we got? Uh, the window proc. Here we go. This is important. That's the procedure that we just wrote before. So window proc. I've got to put that in there. Just like that. So it knows what our um, event handling procedure is. And what else have we got? Class name. Uh, we want to give our class a name. I might call it uh, main window. Yeah, we'll use that in just a second. That's not the name of the window. That's the uh, name of the class that we're registering. So you can call that a few different things. Um, we might end up using um, you know, Unicode strings. I'm not sure. At this point we'll just use um, you know, regular ASCII, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, uh, and style. Yeah, so style is a few different options. Um, we want uh, CSH redraw, which means that uh, when the when the window is resized uh, horizontally, we want it to redraw, and CSV redraw. When the window is resized, resized vertically, we want it to redraw as well. Uh, okay, so I think that's about it. Now we can call the um, uh, register class uh, X function um, with, uh, with a pointer to our window class object that we just created. And uh, hopefully that all goes well. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully that all goes well. But uh, we'll find out soon enough because uh, what we've got to do now is uh, create the window. And we're going to need another um, another function for that. It's the uh, create window function. And it doesn't seem to be here. Oh, here we go. Create window. Or create window X we'll go to. Um, the X is just extra, so that's a more modern uh, Windows always basically uses these X versions. Uh, the, the original create window function just has a few less features, so we'll use X. Um, not that we'll be using any of the uh, stuff. Um, alrighty, so create window. Here we go. We just call the function create window. Um, LP class name. So the class name is this one here. Uh, main window is the name of the uh, class that we're using, and the window name I might call mine um, direct x shoot exclamation mark. So that'll be the name of our window. That's what's going to appear in the title bar of our window. Um, DW style. Okay, we've got a bunch of different options for DW style. I'm pretty sure this will list them somewhere. I think we just want overlapped window for today, um, which will just give us a. Um, oh, I can't even find them. Well, I don't know. It'll be there somewhere. But for today, we want um, WS overlapped. Give me a bone in IntelliSense. Overlapped window, uh, which will just give us a normal window with a border, and you know it'll have a title bar and a little close button and all that sort of thing. And what happened to my overlapped window? Here we go. He's back. <laughs> Why is IntelliSense dead? I can't. Okay. Well, I'll just look over here then. Uh, if IntelliSense isn't going to help me, I'll just do it myself. Uh, X and Y. So this is the position of the windows. Where's my cursor going? Uh, I might just put it at 100, 100. Why not? And uh, width and height, the height of our window, I might have 800 by 600. Uh, the parent we don't need, so we'll just null that. The H menu, well, we don't have a menu, so we'll null that. Uh, H instance, we've got one of those. <laughs> That's up here, H instance. Okay, so I'll copy that from our... Um, parameters and pop it in there and um, L param so you can pass a parameter to your window when it's created but we don't really want to do that so I might just uh, put a zero there 
Okay, now that's going to return to us an H wind, a handle to a window. Um, I might just call it H wind equals, or I might say window handle. Window handle. So a handle is something similar to a pointer. Yeah, we can use this in the future uh, for various amazing things. Now, if create window returns null, so if not uh, window handle, uh, then we really want to return zero or negative one. Uh, yeah, there was an error. Yeah, so uh, just be careful about error handling. You don't want your app to continue, you know, trying to do things when there's been an error uh, as substantial as the window wasn't created. <laughs> I mean, people aren't going to enjoy your game if it still keeps chugging through all of their uh, RAM. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Well. Now that we've created our window, um, we can show it, I think. Uh, show window. Um, the window handle. And the command that we'll use to show will be the command that we were given yeah, by the operating system, ncmd show. Uh, you wouldn't have to use that, but I'm going to. Okay, now hopefully that all works. I'll just push play. It should just create the window. And yeah. There you go. So the window just popped up and left really, really quickly. Left um, because uh, we've not actually told it to do anything. So Windows is, you know, it's creating the window for us and it's registering this and that. And then the next thing that it sees is return zero. So it says, all right, well, you didn't like my window. I'll get rid of it. What we want to do now is um, start what's called the message loop. And uh, I might just uh, call my message uh, message. And uh, what we want to say is uh, while get message and uh, ampersand uh, message and the, oh this is interesting actually the the H wind just here should be null use null for the H wind there uh, instead of your um, window handle that we created before so null means get messages from this thread's windows and uh, all of the messages from this thread. So if you just put your window uh, handle there, you won't you won't be getting all the threads that maybe you need to get. So we'll use a null just there. What we're going to say here is um, we want the program to not quit. We don't want it to quit down here. Uh, we want it to continuously loop, looking for messages. Yeah, over and over and over again. So this is really the crux of um, what would you what would you say event driven. Uh, operating systems, uh, they just put themselves into loops and uh, look for messages. And uh, whenever there's a message in the loop, they process a message and then they just keep looking for messages again. Um, this is basically how Windows works. Um, all that we really want to do is uh, dispatch. Uh, dispatch the message. Ampersand message. Yeah, so every time um, our window gets some event, it might be the mouse moving, it could be the you know user pressing something on the keyboard, or it could be any any number of different messages. Uh, all we really want it to do is uh, just dispatch that message, which means that uh, Windows is going to send it right up here to our window proc. Good stuff. Uh, you can also do a thing here. Oh, we might do it later. Yeah, I think we'll do it later. For now, I'll just push play, and hopefully we'll get a window up on the screen. Ah, look at that. There you go. So there's our window. Beautiful. Uh, it's got the title up in the title bar. It's got a default um, icon there. We're using, uh, I think, the default cursor. Uh, it's also got a border and a close button and all that. So this close button is a result of the um, WS overlap to window just there. Um, we didn't measure it, but if you did, you'd find that it's uh, 800 by 600 pixels. Anyway, uh, I hope that wasn't too dull. It's tricky business, but uh, we had to go through it before we can get onto the good stuff. So maybe next shoot we'll start uh, some actual DirectX coding. Thanks for watching. See you later.